Guys, we're doing a float. Virgil just caught a fish literally on the first cast of giant smallmouth. It's a large mouth. He's three pounds, man. Oh my gosh. That didn't take long, did it? <laughs> I'll get us out of the way. Oh man, I'm getting us out of the way. Oh my god, that's a giant, dude. I'd grab his bottom lip, man. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. We, it wasn't even really a hole. Says it's an epic day on the app I showed you. Really? Oh my gosh. Guys, it, it ain't as big as the one he caught on the 11 point, but it's damn close. Say that's a good start. Yeah, it is. Oh my God. That's a big, he's what, 18 or 19? Probably, at least 18. Oh my God. We just found a good stretch of river, didn't we? Look how beautiful it is down here, man. I thought you had a giant smallie, but he, it doesn't matter to me. That's still a nice fish. Look at all these rocks along the left bank. We definitely want to be fishing the left side, not the right. I don't know. It looks good everywhere, really. How big we got? I'm going to say 18 and 3 pounds. Guys, we literally just pushed off the boat ramp, and he already caught a big 3-pound bass. 3.11. Almost four pounds. Let me zoom, man. Whew. Holy smokes. My gosh. Yeah, that's a beast, man. Good start to our day, guys. We've had a frustrating morning. It took us four accesses to get permission. We literally wasted three hours driving around. Awesome, man. That's a tank. And it was in the current. I was like, ah. You never know, but then I didn't think it would happen. You know what I mean? All right, guys, Virgil's on his second large mouth. Definitely smaller than the first guy, but it's still, he's beat me two to nothing. I've missed two fish. Mine were both small feeling anyway. They're there because of them rocks and the weeds in one spot, I think. <laughs> They're hiding in them weeds and ambush and stuff. Makes me wonder, was that the same one we've seen splash though? Or if there's more than one. Could be more than one right there. At the end of the hole. All right guys, first smallmouth of the day. Little bitty guy, but boy, they were dark, almost jet black when I was reeling them in. And there was a, one following him, got him on the fat free shad bomber. Bill Dance, Tennessee Shad. Little bitty guy, I mean little. Probably because it's really rocky through there, I guess. He's over there. I've seen him jump three damn times. Got one more shot. There you go. Perfect, man. I think. Yep. Oh my God. I guess he freaking filled up on something else first. Damn. I'm trying to push back. Oh yeah. Oh, let me push out. Guys, that was awesome. We sight fished this fish. I told Virgil I seen him jump three times as we was uh, floating by real fast and I hurried up and paddled over here and it worked man. It took him two throws but he got it. That's freaking awesome man. Sight fishing a bass. Is that a spotted? 
I'm guessing so with this. It's got the dots on the belly, like. It's hard to tell from. I think it is a spotted though. Man, you've caught six bass now, and I've caught one measly smallmouth. They just like anywhere them grasses are because the minnows try to hide in there and they go in and ambush them. God, can't believe it worked, man. That's awesome. That helped. I might know. Yeah, that's a, definitely spotted. Not a bad fish, though. At least we got something there. Can't believe it actually worked. Because after you threw it the first time, I'm like, oh, he ain't interested, obviously. Sometimes it takes... Hey, he just moved down further. Yeah. And didn't hear it or something. It was kind of further out the first time, too, though. All right, guys, I caught my first white bass of the day right after a jet boat just flew by with people skiing on it. Isn't that weird, man? Hey. Look at that, Verge. Little stripe. Man, I wish I could stop, but. All right. Oh, I gotta throw that anchor down, I think, man. That's obviously a good spot. All right, guys, nice little white bass. Hey, man, nice surprise. Especially being that a jet boat just flew by. <laughs> Oh my God, man. All right, guys. I seen a crappie jump over here later and I thought, or earlier and I thought I was losing my mind. All right, guys, I caught a nice black crappie on a bomber fat-free shad again, that Bill Dance Tennessee shad. And we mean barely. He's not a bad sized one, actually. They're starting to add up now. Oh, he's eight. He's an eight incher anyway. Yes. So I've gotten an 8 inch smallmouth, an 8 inch crappie, and an 8 inch white bass. And that's all she wrote. My gar, that was 3 feet long, jumped up in the air, and that was all she wrote. It's not a bad crappie though. Not really. So now I need to be throwing that little fork tail then. You want it? You want it? Uh, I don't either. You know what they say about crappie, don't you? Where there's one, there's 40. So now I need to put this to the test. The smallest lure I got. I need I need a Bobby Garland on is what I really need. Where did I even hook him at? All right, guys, I am on a tank of a white bass. Can you paddle us over there a little more? Oh shit. Oh man. Oh my God. Oh help, hold on. I caught him on the little two inch white grub, man. Holy crap, dude. Now that turned things around. He's a freaking big one. Uh, look at that. Man. Out of nowhere, man. Should I anchor? Because it ain't wanting to make us, it ain't wanting to let us move. It's gonna, or it's gonna keep making us move. All right, try, don't move for a second. Guys, finally, right before dark, man, I got a big old white bass. That helped big time. Maybe that's what I've been doing wrong all day is throwing too big of baits. Maybe if I would have been throwing like little curly tails, like two inch, they would have been biting. I don't know. That's weird, though. It's a nice fish. Let's get him back. Man, you know how much that freaking helped. Seriously.
thought I'd get something else here. Cool little spot, anyway. Still, I, I think we should have been. Oh my god! What? No. -uh. All right, guys. Vir Virgil's on something big here, guys. On the six cents uh, crawdad cloud nine crankbait. C6. It's a bit. It's something big. You may have a walleye. Oh my god! It's a giant white bass, dude. Bit way bigger than mine. That's way bigger than mine. Third time he's hit. Oh my god! He's 18 inches, man. Not kidding you. He's 18 easily. That's a big white bass, man. So they're not just hitting the small, it's they're just evening bites, what it is. That's a big white bass for anywhere. That's your personal best, isn't it? Um, I'm, yeah, because you I caught one. If I've ever, did I get one? You caught one at the nuclear plant, but he was only oh, like. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was small. Yep. Nowhere near this one. That's a trophy white bass for anywhere. That's big. They only get 18, 19 inches is the maximum. Gosh. I'll get a good photo of you, man. That really turned the day around, this hole right here. You know what it was? It was the overhead sun, wasn't it? They just do not like it in here. If the water's mur murky, it's different. When it's water's crystal clear, guys, on the overhead sun, it can be absolutely horrible. But if we would, oh, there's another fish right behind us. Oh my God, that is a tank, let me zoom. Oh my God. Yeah, he's 18 easily, man. I gotta quit shaking, hold on. He is definitely 18 inches. Wow. Whew. That made it, that, at least you got a personal best. I thought you had a big walleye though, didn't you, at first? I started. I sure, man, that thing was pulling down hard. I know that for sure. What's funny is what I just told you about three minutes ago. I said they're never alone. Yep. And sure enough. All right, guys. Birds was on an evening top water bite. Right at the end of the night. Big bass. Very big. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, dude. Yeah, he's hooked funny. It still is big though. Is that a spotted? I think so. It may not be though. Oh, there went another one. Oh my God. I just seen another one too. That was a buffalo, I think. I think that wasn't a bass. I'll definitely get a good picture of you again. Well, the evening really turned it around, guys. I tell you, you just never know. You may not catch hardly anything all day, and those few vital moments toward the end of the day can really turn it around, and that's what happened with us. We got two really nice white bass, and now this spotted or largemouth, I don't know which one yet. That's a spotted bass. That's your biggest spotted bass ever now, isn't it? I think so. So you just got two personal bests in one day. I gotta zoom out. Guys, Virgil just beat his personal best white bass followed by biggest spotted bass I've ever seen you catch anyway. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh, man. Hell yeah. Two personal bests in one day is pretty freaking um, hey. a feat. Hey. <laughs> Might not have like got a shit ton. But it was quality and for the yeah. Said it was gonna be an epic day. Yeah. I'll take this all day. I can't believe that's a big that's like the ones I get down in at the block hole. What's with all this weird stuff floating? It looks like cow poop or something. Oh no. I'm hung man. Now my line slinking off. 